Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck are you? Let me dry them up. Too cold. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch it, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. We're going to be preparing some hoes and the green banana porridge. Okay? So, right inside here, I have got some oats. This is about half a cup of um, old fashioned oats. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to leave a little water on it just to get it to get softened. So, I'm going to leave it for about 10 minutes or so. So, when I return, or 15, when I return, it should be at the point of almost up here. It's going to expand, you know, what will happen already. The, the, the oats is going to absorb all the water. So I have a few bananas here, they are green. Not the cutest of bananas, but it doesn't matter. So I'll be putting about three bananas with it. I'm not making a lot of porridge, I'm making a small pot of porridge. So what I want to do right now, I have got me here a piece of cinnamon stick. This is how Jamaica cinnamon stick looks. And I've got some leaves too. So I'm with this stick, piece of stick and the leaves, I'll be using about three of these leaves because these are really strong. This is what I need for a size pot of porridge like that. I've got a small piece of nutmeg mace and I'll be putting it in there too. So I'll give them a rinse. I've already rinsed them before I dry them or wash them and then I dry. But I'll still give it a rinse. So I'll be starting my porridge like this. I'll be putting a little water in here and leave it to come to a boil. What that is gonna do, it's gonna pull the flavor from the cinnamon stick and the cinnamon leaves. So I'm gonna start it like that and I'm gonna put it on about a little below medium for it to take its time come to a boil. Boil for about three or four minutes to pull the flavor out. If you don't have um, fresh or natural cinnamon sticks and leaves, you can use your little cinnamon powder. But you would like to put your cinnamon powder in this when you are putting, making the blend of it together. So that part time, the cinnamon powder will be best absorbed whilst blending, okay? So I'm gonna be using some coconut milk. I've got my coconut milk here on the Ninja. It's just a small amount, so I'm using a Ninja blender to make the coconut milk. I've got here some um, vanilla. I also have here a little piece of nutmeg to get a little from it. That's flavoring the porridge. And I will be sweetening with my sweetened condensed milk. So we are putting two milk. We are putting coconut milk and condensed milk to sweeten and also to bring a little more body and creaminess to this porridge. Green banana and oats porridge it is. Chamas day number 10. I will return when it's right. Okay now family. So you see what has happened? Our oats has, has absorbed some most of the water and this is what it looks like in there. You're seeing right through it. Now I'm going to be peeling my bananas. I'm a Caribbean woman and I peel bananas. This is something that I do from a child coming up. So what I want to do, I just want to put a little oil, like a little vegetable oil or anything like that. Just a small amount on my hand and this is to help that the banana stain does not stick to my hand. We do this a lot in the Caribbean. I don't know about the Caribbean, but in Jamaica. Okay, so persons might want to ask why. I did say this before. So I think I'll use about four of these with the bananas. I'm going to peel them and return to you. Okay, so my cinnamon stick and leaves and my little piece of maize has come to a boil. It's boiling. And if you can really look if this camera is picking it up, you will realize that the water is turning a, turning a slight bit of a little brownish color. So I'm going to lower my flame right here now. What I've done, I've gone ahead and I've cut up my bananas. So four small ones would equal to two regular sized green bananas. So I've got my milk here that I have blended coconut milk. So I'm going to go now strain it off because I want to put some of this milk in here. And we're going on to that unit to make a blended um, liquid to um, a blended solution is that so come on girl not solution what a blended what a mixture wow what's that a blended mixture to put inside okay so I'm gonna put some of my milk inside here now fresh 
freshly um a freshly prepared coconut milk and i'm going to get this thing all blended out whilst over here my water you see that we have so these can be removed now and then i leave it to um to make sure that all the um the flavors are out right there now so we turn the flame down going over here now to do some blending so um family if you notice the water is brown so that is the color of cinnamon so when you boil your cinnamon leaves and stick until you know probably about a 10 minutes on the low this is what you get this is all flavored with natural cinnamon natural cinnamon flavoring so the water has become light brown so right on over here i'm gonna go give this another little um blend i want to get it smooth as possible i return so you want to blend until you have this smooth looking these little particles are like the oats so you could also use your um what that oats name um quick oats quick oats so i'm going to be pouring as the usual as regular porridge and whilst I'm pouring, I'm going to turn my flame down a little. Just like the cornmeal porridge, I'll be stirring whilst I'm pouring. Okay? So, this is what is happening. Remember, this won't take a long time as the cornmeal porridge. So, now that everything is hot, you want to start stirring because with this oats, and all of them something in there. So, the banana and the oats, it's, it's, it eats the heat and um, it's going to be starting to get thick. But you have got to be stirring okay constantly until it reaches the thickening part we're gonna be needing to add or we're gonna be adding some um vanilla to this extra flavoring and also a little salt that is definitely what we will need so we are going to be stirring until it starts getting that body and as soon as it reaches that um as soon as it reaches to that point i'll come right back to you family okay now family it's starting to get thick and all of that so the thicker it gets the more rigorous you stir you see what is happening you don't want it coming with any lumps so you're gonna stir and stir and if it gets too thick you can add your little extra coconut milk or you can add some water remember when you add the coconut milk you have to let it cook for about seven to ten minutes okay so you see it's getting all thick so you need to stir more rigorous more stronger stronger stirs so we're gonna be getting our flame down a bit right here right now and i'm gonna be adding my vanilla wow okay it's so you want about a tablespoon of vanilla for this not more and if you add the vanilla extra which is stronger then you could probably um just use like a little tat a little dash because that's so strong you see what i'm telling you it's thick now so at this point i'm going to be adding my little extra coconut milk and this should bring it right to where i want finish have it finish cooking and all of that when you had your extra coconut milk your honey camera girl you want to stir as how i'm doing you want to put your hand at that angle you want to put your your spoon in the corners there and you want to do all of this and get so you just don't want to be stirring to the middle only you want to be stirring right around in all these parts of the pot and to make sure that everything is in good order and this is what it looks like also you are to have hot water and hand in case you need the extra liquid okay i'm putting about this in salt because you have to use the salt to bring some um to bring the flavors in the porridge together now you want to stir and look if this is okay on the low you are to be now and you're going to be cooking this porridge for about 10 minutes we have been here about a minute or a minute and a half so you want to cook for another 10 minutes you know at that point it will be good the oats will be properly cooked the banana would be cooked and most of all the coconut milk would be cooked you want to look at the consistency it's nice it's creamy it's nice at this point remember you're going to add the coca um the condensed milk for sweetening so let us continue to stir and to scrape around and also to see what is happening in case it gets more thicker which i don't think at this point it would it is already reached the maximum where it will give you so this is what it will look like if you want a word more watery porridge you can go ahead and you can add some extra milk whether coconut milk ham or whatever or 
even plain water. For me, this is good because I'll be adding the coconut milk, the condensed milk. So I'm gonna be cooking this for the next eight to 10 minutes. Constantly coming to scrape around to make sure that all the corners are scraped in and it don't clump in there and to give it this rigorous stir when it comes to the middle. When you're stirring at the corners, you go slow, okay? Go slow and take it out. And then you come, you just come to the middle and you stir like this, real strong. And then you look at what your porridge looks like. Look if this is how you want it, okay? So I'll be back. So family, I'm back right here now. So I'm gonna be grating a little nutmeg right in there. Not a lot, I mean, I'm always still a lot of that. And for me, that's okay, it's not a lot of porridge. And also, I will be putting in one teaspoon, level teaspoon of crushed flax seed. Okay, let us give it some little more stir. And at this point, you realize that I'm at the same that I left. So I'm gonna stir it and when I return, family, I might just have to finish this video with some subtitles by sweetening with my condensed milk and also pouring out for you. Okay, now family, my flame is off and this is the perfect time for sweetening with my condensed milk. I'm gonna use like about three quarters of this tin of milk because that's my only sweetener and I'm gonna be continue to sweetening, sweetening until all this milk is dissolved. When the milk is dissolved, you will see the porridge at the top getting more creamy. So in order to get it all sweetened and all incorporated, you want to continue with the same process. Around in the corners, until you see the milk, that white trace of the milk there, until you don't see it anymore, okay? So this is what it looks like. Real thick, real rich. And all of them something there, everything. I'm gonna come right here now and I'm gonna be pouring out some right in your face. Bowl, and I've used a transparent one that you can see what is happening. And as I pour, you will see what it looks like, what your porridge is supposed to look like. So we're gonna be pouring. And I'm gonna be presenting while I'm pouring from my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach. In this cold weather, it is green banana and oats porridge. I'm done my way in my kitchen. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, all I have of you, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey. When you subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell. Press the option that says all, okay? Remember to check in the description box for our Zelle, PayPal, Cash App. And we will be hosting a live stream video, I think. And we will post it on the community page for all the people that would like to get onto our Zoom class this Saturday and want a little more info. Remember to be you, do you, most of all. Love you, some Jamaican green banana and oats porridge done my way. Now today, as you have all seen by the title, we're going to be doing some a mini and green planting porridge. I like to mix my porridge. I'm a person that likes to mix stuff to make porridge. So I'm on a little porridge journey with you as you as you can see my last video was a porridge video. <clears throat> so we are going to be making today a mini corn and green planting porridge. Now this is going to be done different from the oats and green planting. <clears throat> I have right here <coughs> some pre-soaked a mini corn and this was just the same amount as this and they say this I think this is 12 ounces or yes 400 grams so whatever 400 gram works out to this is what it is this is what I have in here so I pre-soaked this for a pretty good amount of hours and you could do this overnight too so when you soak it for a few hours, it will become sort of softer than the regular one. You can even taste it. Mm -hmm. So now I've pre-soaked my corn and I have over here, we get my cinnamon leaf, them my St. Mary. If you're following on the Jamaican Debbie Debs train, you will see where I went and got my first cinnamon leaf. So they were in there. And you know, I always use the hot water to take the flavor out. So now, <clears throat> the mini corn has got to be pre-soaked and properly cooked. To cook without pressuring, it takes a good amount of time. Depends on the corn. 
maybe have one and a half to two, maybe have two and a half hours. I'm telling you, some of them are really chewy. If you have got an instant pot, use your instant pot. It can be used in space of your analog pressure cooker. So I've got in here now some the, the cinnamon water. So what I'll be doing, I'll be putting this 400 grams of free salt a mini corn right down in there. Okay, I'm gonna cook it with my pressure. And if this is bothering your nerves, I'm sorry, I won't be doing it for long. I'm getting out all of my corn and I'm gonna be putting a little stirring in there. Now, when this porridge is properly cooked, you if you don't know how to do to prepare this this porridge, you're gonna have in some sweet taste to just the liquid. It will come out more something like you know food. You're gonna have the liquid from the porridge, and you're gonna have the corn chewing. But remember that you have got to infuse the corn with some sugar and a little salt, because when it's finished and you're sweetening. The sugar can only absorb the liquid. The, the, the sweetener, the, the liquid, the liquid can only absorb the sweetener. These grains will not absorb the sugar when they are cooked or salt. So you're gonna be putting some sugar to cook it with. So as it cooks, the grains will absorb the sugar. Okay? All right, if you have never done it before that way, try to do it this way and then you will see the difference you know okay so we put a little sugar and also we're going to be putting a little salt try to do to your liking so i'm going to be putting about this in salt and sugar okay that's it so my flavored water cinnamon flavored hot water and my a mini corn pre-salt my sugar and my salt and I'm gonna be covering it with a little more water. Look at what I have. Get my flame up to about medium. I won't be pressuring it on high because I want it to sort of pressure on not too high to let the liquid just go right out, dry out, and then the corn is not cooked. So I'm cooking it on the medium. And I'll be cooking it for about 15 to 20 minutes, thereabout. Because I know persons might wanna hats, depending on your pressure too. So this is what is going to happen right here. I'm putting on my cover and I'm going to let it cook. Remember, I'm using my pressure cooker. You could just cook it on your stove top, but you must monitor it because as it starts cooking, it starts frothing. So you got to monitor it. It does that in the pressure cooker too. And you see the froth coming up to all these places, but I do it, I'm doing it on the medium and I also monitor it. So if you're using your pressure pot and you see it's frothing up, you'd only just do is lower your flame. Now, I told you, we're going to do this one a bit different. I'm going to be using some freshly squeezed coconut milk. So, in the next clip, when this is cooked and properly, you know, I can get to open my pressure pot, I will return with this. As you saw, I did it in the last porridge video. I'm going to have my plant in all piece slice, and I'm going to have it now ready with my coconut milk to put it in there. So, look here. Must soon come okay now family this is our cooked a mini corn this is what it looks like you see the amount that we got yeah and it is soft so you see that you see that i have mashed it yeah so you want your corn properly cooked like that so this is what is happening there and let me tell you now these are two powerful porridge material that we are putting together a mini corn and green planting. The two of them are two powerful, strong team. So now, this is where I have my sliced green planting. And remember to do it um, thin. The thinner you do it. So we're gonna use right here some freshly squeezed coconut milk, or if you have to use your can one, not a problem. So let us put a little more. And remember, you know, I don't give measurements if you're new here. I want you to do according to the amount that you're doing. I told you, I definitely did tell you two things that you can work with. The amount of a mini to the amount of planting. It is one medium green planting with 400 grams of a mini corn. So if you want to double that up if your family is big 
or you want to cut it in half if you're a single person it's up to you so you know that um definitely what we are going to be doing here we're going to be whipping this out and i'm going to blend it in and so on, but it's better than this one to me so i'm going to chop first so we are back i'm going to get my flame on because i added enough water so i don't have i use just as the, the you know just reasonable amount of water so the corn as they cook they would absorb the water so you can see it's mostly corn in here have hot water here got my flame up hope you're paying attention this is a different type of porridge you have got to make this porridge different so this is what we have inside there this is all a mini corn water the sugar and the salt to taste you could do at this time taste your corn if it's flavored up with sugar and salt but even though we did this we still have to put a little more at the end when we are sweetening because what we put was just for the corn grains to absorb that salt and sugar was just for the corn grains to absorb it so hot water there that is why we always have hot water because you can see it starts bubbling right away now this is not hot and all of that so what i want you to look at now this is not thick that is already thick you don't want to blend your planting right now i want you to take a note of that i don't want you to make your planting thick you just want to have it look like your milk your almond milk or whatever but you know it's coconut milk and blended green planting and the same let us get our flame down this is gonna be a really powerful porridge as you pour you stir dad are they seeing it yeah. look at what is happening down in there with the coconut milk and this green planting stir put yourself on the a little higher than low not too too low this is what is happening and your blender should be clean your blender job should be clean now i want you to look at what is happening it starts getting thick and you want to do some stirring now remember the amini is partially cooked almost cooked you're just going to be cooking the coconut milk right here and now we have add some extra coconut milk we have some left back so you want to start stirring get your flame up a little because as it starts cooking this planting along with this amini they're going to come together and they're going to give this porridge a body and you might want some more liquid hence we have this coconut milk right here you could even pop your flame on and keep it and the warm that when it's ready to go in there it's not definitely cold and I like that Dad, come and look at this bring them up on this one you're gonna have to do some steering not too rigorous of a steering and this is with what is happening right there this is so beautiful you want to turn your flame down a little now you've got to remember you've got to put in some vanilla yeah this is where you do it put in some vanilla about a tablespoon and a half and if it is the stronger vanilla you know you just leave, use a small amount you're not mega this is where we have it about this is less than half of a teaspoon freshly grated nutmeg and you want to get it in let it get to cook now that the vanilla is in cut your flame back up a little more and you see it's gonna come with some body you're gonna use your coconut milk to get this thinned out see it's getting thick and all of that that is green planting and a mini corn gonna give it a few more stirs and when we return you will see where we are at Masuka, make sure you're watching this video you want to make this porridge for your family for your kids for your husband most of all for yourself Masuka. i am very much back and i've added about half of the coconut milk that i have it was getting thick and I added that and it's still there and I'm coming come to stir a bit it still is gonna need as it cooks remember the coconut milk 10 to 12 minutes after you put the coconut milk and the par and the planting in that coconut milk and that <coughs> planting mixture 10 to 12 minutes look at me here as you stir the more you stir the thicker it gets so what we're gonna do at this point we're got and the coconut milk got warm so it's even the better hope you are following the family so we have got in the last of this coconut milk and we are continuing to stir in don't stir too hard just you know and make sure you are not sticking at the bottom so you know we got to use a pot that the bottom is thick not thin 
So we have stirred in that amount, the last of our coconut milk, and we are there cooking. We have another about another six to seven minutes to go from my putting the first set. And this is what it looks like. Remember, we have got, I'm using, if you're using almond, remember you still have some form of liquid to put. You don't want to get it too thin. And at the same time, you don't want to get it too thick. This porridge is supposed to come more like with an eating, eating and drinking consistency. You don't want it too watery, you know? And you don't want it on put by you. You see what I say? So you're going to be eating and drinking. So it must have a, you know? reasonable amount of body so you can drink and eat even when it gets cool so may i say so look at me here now so this is where I, this is so beautiful this is so beautiful now i'm gonna be using today the whole flaxseed normally what i do with my flaxseed as i told over the years when my porridge finishes with a spoon in a spoon and the warmth of it just do it people say flaxseed for cook so guess what i don't know you do you why may i put in just this this helps to thicken it and give it that nice gum and glue like a cow foot or a cow skin sort of thing you don't want to put in too much this is a lot and this is good at my age and if you're my age and too older your porridge must have flaxseed in there put it right in so that's a tablespoon or a little shy of a tablespoon because this is not a full original tablespoon so what you want to do now wow you want to stir in your flax seed and make sure you're a bit more on the low. You don't want to be too high. Okay? Make sure you're not sticking around the sides here and at the center. And this is what your porridge will look like. And all of that. Green planting and a, mon a mini porridge. I'm going to go get my evaporated milk now. So whatever milk you're using at this point, the co the um coconut milk and the green planting is like halfway here it's time to add this last if it is condensed milk you don't need to add it you know that will be the sweetener but this you can add it now and let it do the rest of the job my soon come okay cutting my flame up a bit yeah this is my evaporated milk and we are doing the same thing okay and you want to stir it in gently make sure as i said so many times before you are not sticking this is what it looks like yes let us stir it and see what's happening wow what a beauty dad what a beauty yeah. so at this point i'm gonna put the rest of my little salt okay so this is my salt to bring it up to par to taste so look at me here now look at this consistency as it cooks for another four minutes look at this you don't need any cornstarch you don't need any flour in this okay and if you were doing the a mini by itself you would just let it cook some more let it becomes more softer so you would have that extra starch remember the corn has starch and the green planting you don't need no cornstarch no no flour everything in here is just naturally pure hmm? yeah so we are gonna be stirring around look at this look at the consistency of what you want you have that liquid there to drink and you have those corns nice and soft your flax seed is there shoot them up one more time dad bring them up this is how you want your porridge looking we're gonna stir for another five minutes coming along occasionally to stir and when we return we're gonna be adding our little extra sweetener which is the sugar if you want at this point and you have condensed milk you could but i don't have so i'm gonna put in a little more sugar and then i'm gonna plate up some just for you must soon come this is where we're at our porridge is almost there at this point you can use your spoon to taste for the sweetness the level of the sweetness remember we pressured it with the sugar in order for the corn grains to absorb the sugar flavor because when you don't do it like that when it is cooked and you're sweetening it's just a liquid that is gonna have the sweet taste and the corn so you have like a not a balanced taste the taste is like all over so I did that off camera so when you taste no I'm gonna get my flame right off right here and no when you taste no 
it gives you the ability to know how much sugar you're gonna need I did do that off camera so I need about like a quarter cup of a sugar so I'm gonna put it in right there okay so I'm gonna just dissolve my sugar right into this nice rich look here this is a whole meal with this cool weather all of them something there yo you can just make this put it in your thermos your carry cup you can take it to your job and all of that this is this will take you right through because it's corn in there and all of that you want to make sure your sugar is properly dissolved i did add my little extra salt and all of that and this is what it looks like remember as it cools down it gets thicker so you don't want it any thinner you don't want it any thicker at this point what i'm gonna do next patient same treatment i'm gonna be pouring right here to my potty school right here to my potty school so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna pour it right down in this bowl for you let you see what is happening this is how we are gonna present also this part i want you to see what it looks like that position with the camera from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your stomach it is green planting and a, a, a mini um a mini corn porridge and with your flaxseed in there done in debbie's kitchen on today's episode of the jamaican cooking journey we'll be making some porridge i'll be making for you oats and green plantain porridge you could use green banana also you could also use a ripe plantain to put with the oats so i've gone ahead right here and i'm i'm pre-soaking some old-fashioned oats and this was shy of a cup it wasn't fully a cup so i am using these condiments i don't have you always see me in my porridge videos with a cinnamon sticks cinnamon leaves and sticks I don't have but I have it in St. Mary and those of you who are following me on the Jamaican Debbie Debs train you will know that you know I go to St. Mary from time to time and we have the property there I'm gonna take you there and show you the direct cinnamon our Jamaican cinnamon leaf how it grows so make sure you're following me on that channel if you are not I'm gonna leave the link in the description you go click on it and you might just want to stay with us subscribe when you go there so i'm going to be using in space of my cinnamon leaves i'm going to be using a little cinnamon powder and all of that if you have mixed spice too you could put a little hence let us continue right on over here i've got a pot yeah i have one pot over here so with some freshly squeezed coconut milk you want your coconut milk in there you don't have and you don't want to some people say them not have the time you know you can use your coconut tin coconut better yet if you have the cream coconut cream it would be better so look at me here instead of water or i'm substituting this coconut milk for water i've got my kettle here and i'm gonna put it on in case i need a little extra liquid so i've got my coconut milk here and i'm letting it come to a boil on the medium because if i let it come to a boil and the eye and i do not pay attention it will come right over now that that is happening our water is there getting at uh, all of that riding and whistling making yourself and in your kitchen moving like a pro in your kitchen in a this a pandemic where you can't get for goes all your boat even if you buy a little food you have to walk up and now you can sit down and get to dine you need to be utilizing your kitchen more so we've got our pot right there we have got our kettle right here our oats is right here hope you're following me and i hope i'm not going too fast i've got me here one green plantain this is not banana this is plantain green plantain so you're gonna go you're gonna notch it at the top and at the bottom you could put if you are doing more than one you could put a little oil but i'm not you doing more than one so i'm just using it so you could just turn your water down a little me about me a water a run come in two toes from this me not have none so you want to peel you just want to use your thumb finger if you want to put on your gloves put on your gloves no problem you know they be a old timer they be not going to put on your gloves so if this you don't some people might use this to core peel off the skin but me not really say good at that but if you feel like this is the better way for you go ahead okay 
so I'm gonna use my thumb and I'm gonna just get the skin off you know it's a bit cracky because the planting is to perfection so look at me here now you just take your time and you deal with it make sure you get all the green skins off now make nobody tell you say put the green skin in it because it would feel hello all they do please the skin is bitter okay so I'm gonna go finish this and return most soon come we are back let me dry my hands yeah so let me get back to what I was saying Missy, people come and said who why are you peeling the skin no we don't peel we don't cook planting skins in Jamaica you see unless we we feed in it to our pigs and something don't let anybody tell you to peel it with the skin and blend it up it doesn't work that way unless you want some bitter part so you could do it this way but I'm showing you this is the correct way so you go fast or you go slow according to how you can manage you're just learning you go like this me die a long time me are all vetting at this so me a slice up this in eh? and all of that riding and whistling kekel start while right off that's how you ride and whistle in your kitchen and you prep over on your coconut milk look if it is coming to a boil and all of that if it's not then you proceed these drop right here you're not nasty your countertop or your working area is clean right now into your um what is this thing your your blender so what are you gonna do now you're gonna catch a little water a little extra water you don't want to put too much okay this is what we have and this is happening yes looking at our milk and it is there yeah it a warm up you can see the heat coming out of it right onto our unit depending on what blend what the mode on your blender your ninja that's it near way near whatever ninja blender whatever you want to use your food processor we want to get a smooth mixture by blending this green planting and the oats i'm gonna go first and i'm gonna use chop and mine few seconds of chopping there and I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna put it on liquefy I'm gonna do that and when you see me next it's gonna be a smooth piece and we are gonna go over onto our stove must soon come going too fast you're gonna put in here we didn't have um cinnamon leaf so I'm gonna put in here and this is I would say this is about a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon powder you don't want no more for this amount of porridge for if you for full this spoon too tiny you don't need for cook porridge to serve the whole world so maybe i was going too fast you put it in there you could put it in the porridge when it starts cooking but it would be give you um it would be harder to dissolve so let's continue okay so my my milk started getting too hot and started like it wanted to come over so i turned my flame down now i am going to pour in my mixture and you want to get your mixture as smooth as you can okay as smooth and you see what is happening right there yeah so you're gonna start stirring so you're stirring with one hand depend who if you're a left hander you do your thing so you're stirring and you're pouring stirring and pouring on medium eat right there with the coconut milk stirring all around and all of that right round right around there be a chat too much yeah but i want the people to get it i want the people to make them porridge they ain't cold and they want some porridge in their system and all of that okay it's in this is so beautiful can't afford to let it waste a little hot water here swirl it around swirl it around right in here that is why you must always have hot, hot water okay if you put some cold water in this you know what is gonna happen it is gonna just lower the temperature and you don't want that it's getting thick really thick so we are gonna pour a little more water as we go along steering steering you don't want to put too much one time because you don't want this porridge you come 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 to some water porridge you know so now that you have put it in you want to put a different mode to the steering you want to put your spoon at the center and you want to just go like that then on the outer part and all of that everything is coming in well nice get your flame down this porridge doesn't take a long time to cook what can be at raw the planting doesn't take a long time we whipped it out 
the longest thing there is the coconut milk we're gonna give this porridge 10 minutes on the low okay occasionally come in to scrape it around and to stir and to look at the consistency of what you have now for me at this point i'm going to be putting in some vanilla you know you don't want to put too much either remember that is liquid so i think i put there about a tablespoon and a half of vanilla you know and that is not the extra like the strong one so you want to get this vanilla all dissolved in there hmm? now if you're going to be sweetening with your other milk like your um your almond your whatever fresh milk whatever milk i'll be using evaporated milk you don't want to get it too thin at this point because you're gonna need the extra um thickness from now that when you put your other milk it is at the right texture for porridge you know try for no porridge consistency you don't want it too thick remember oats i'm planting they have a lot of body i am cooking you see pop pop but i think i need a little more liquid so this is how you go a little at a time yeah and you make sure you dissolve this liquid in there properly some people still not getting it you know and as i said to you you don't cook this porridge as long as the cornmeal it doesn't have anything in here for you to cook you just want to cook it for 10 or 12 minutes the most to make sure your coconut milk is properly cooked so look at me you see i put the water but it's still not dissolved so you want to make sure it's properly dissolved so on the low next to low you know not fully fully low and this is what you have this is green planting and oats so i'm gonna let it cook and then when i return at a certain interval i'll have to put my grating nutmeg i'm gonna grate some nutmeg i got that here whole flax seeds and i have got here crushed flax seeds i normally just after my porridge is finished just put some flax seed in there let me turn my flame down mm -hmm. the power look at the power look at the power of this porridge let it cook look at it let me turn it up a bit let me show you you see it there yep that's the power so turn it give it a stir and all of that now i normally just when my porridge is through i normally put some flax seed in there hmm? and all flax seeds some people said debbie no you don't get anything out of the flax seed like that but look here you have to use the powdered one so i just got some crushed one too i use both of them flax seed is good for your nerves but remember this thing is thick too in it as a thickening um, thing about it so when we return we're gonna add our milk add some of the flax seed with a crush or whatever i want but i normally just use the i see me have a good supply and the both of them me normally use this just and it's my porridge is finished let's put it in there the one porridge mix it and have it but i tried what you say because me don't know everything so me soon come okay we are back i'm gonna put in some fresh nutmeg oftentimes we do this i am always um guilty of doing this too but the correct way you create it because sometimes you know you do it and the nutmeg fall from your hand and right in the porridge so freshly grated nutmeg and you see most of it i've got it so can't look like me i put too much pressure it doesn't matter yeah you know so we're dropping this in so what kind of measurement that miss debbie this is like about 1 16th of a teaspoon hmm? yeah. this is a nice spice and as it nutmeg it's the eat you have to make sure you use your nutmeg and let it go through with the eat you know don't put the nutmeg in the porridge when it come off no so now i am going to be using my milk i'm going to be using some um evaporated milk and my own comes just like this i've washed it and all of that this is how some of them come now in jamaica so your almond milk whatever milk you're using at this point it is time now to put it in because you also want the milk to get a little cooked through so just as we did the other remember this is less watery 
so look at it now do the same thing next patient same treatment once you're pouring it in you're stirring it and you can see that it has changed the whole texture of the porridge the porridge has started to become more creamy right I don't even know how much these things hold. they're like some little baby stuff but sometimes when you don't get it at the supermarket this is how you get it at our corner shop in Jamaica and we have to support the local corner shop then because you know, don't know it go yeah no look at this look at this this has given it in that you see the right texture mm -hmm. we're not finished as yet let's continue stirring it in our heat is still there so you want to stir it in stir it in real briskly some brisk stirring scraping around the sides and all of that and people might want to ask debbie my porridge always come lumpy you need to stir some more the stir helps to alleviate the lumps so look at this now under low low heat so dissolving your evaporated your almond milk all together look at the difference of it now this is the direct porridge consistency so you want the porridge to look you know try not forget your salt not to forget a little salt at this time your hands clean you're gonna put a little measurement of salt to bring the flavors together and i would say i'm at the wrong part i would like about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and this is not quarter this is more so i'm gonna throw this out okay if you when you stir it and it comes together and you want a little more you can always add a little more you see it green planting and oat sparge doesn't take long to cook family once 10 to 12 minutes you are good and this porridge is one of the most nutritious porridge it's strong and all of that at this point i'm gonna fold in about this because you can't put too much of this in because this thing will get it extra thick so i'm gonna put about this in there that's flat seed to help with the nerves in. nerve building and all of that so you want to stir this in and all of that stir it in thoroughly thoroughly at this point my porridge is through cooking i'm gonna turn my flame off the very last thing i have is some sugar remember not to sweeten with the heat the flame under your porridge i'm using about a half a cup of sugar i'm gonna like fresh porridge look at it and i'm gonna go sweeten come back i'm gonna plate up some for you right in your face green planting and old porridge in Debbie's kitchen you can't do it in a year store must soon come okay we are back properly sweetened sweetened to your taste sweetened to your liking I'm gonna pour you some pouring some for you hold your pot high if you're doing like me if you want to use a ladle go ahead hold if you're doing like me hold your pot high you know try to maneuver yourself with this odd thing from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table to your palate and most of all to your stomach it is debbie's green planting and oats porridge with coconut milk done just for you please do enjoy i'm showing you the power the strength of this porridge and i love that